What's up, YouTube? I mentioned a while back that I would do a video on how to properly package a snapback, and I'm going to do that for you now. I I can't believe some of the videos that are out there. I mean, it's crazy. There's some people that put, and not, not calling anybody out, you know, and if it works for you, great. I'm just going to show you kind of how I do it. This is kind of an effective and very efficient way of doing it. Uh, I've seen people put them in envelopes, um, you know, and putting just just because you put a little piece of cardboard, you know, in, in the hat, it doesn't protect it. If you put it in an envelope, I mean, if, if they put a 20 pound box on top of that envelope or whatever, a heavier envelope, a flat rate envelope with something heavy in it, like this hat's going to get smashed. I mean, I, I can't fathom how someone would possibly put a hat in an envelope. But anyway, that's besides the point. Also, I've seen videos of people shipping hats in uh, medium flat rate boxes. Um, I, again, I, I, if that works for you, great. But, you know, that's, what, $11, $12 now? I don't even know what it is. Um, this method will allow you to package the box or package the hat in a box. Uh, and it'll still be under 16 ounces so it can go first class. And um, for those that didn't know, I've seen some other videos where people think it's up to 15 ounces for first class. But it's actually up to one pound. So you can actually put one pound and it'll still go first class. Um, not a huge difference, but when they changed it from 30, it used to be 13 ounces for first class package and they've since sent up to a pound and it makes a huge difference. I mean, those three ounces actually make a humongous difference. I've shipped a lot of stuff first class, extremely price or cost effective. I mean, it's 350 or so, 360, I think is the most it comes out to, uh, but it's anywhere from two to, you know, two to three something, um, to ship first class, which is awesome. So anyway, sweet Atlanta Braves hat here. Kind of vintage. I don't know what year it is, but it's got some awesome decals, logos, really clean, awesome condition. Okay. First thing I do, I get a 12 by, this is a 12 by 10 poly bag, poly mailer. Go ahead and put this guy up in her, like so. Blue. Fits perfectly, right? All right. Now, critical step here. I used to do a handwritten thank you note. I've since, Floridian Pigger done stepped his game up, y'all. Done stepped my game up. Uh. Thank you for your purchase, small family business, blah, blah, blah. If you have any problems, contact us, pre-printed, print these out. I have stickers, but I just ran out, so I just do a little piece of tape um, and just printed them and cut them out. But you can do labels, too. You can obviously print them on a sticker label. Like I said, that's what I usually do, but I ran out. Uh, super easy. I mean, you just peel it off and put it on whatever package that you're selling. I pretty much wrap almost everything, with bubble wrap or a poly mailer or something, and I just use this. Boom. Blam. If you get this in the mail, you're going to be like, you know, I mean, it's a good presentation. It probably sold, I don't know, 100 hats. Knock on wood. Doot, doot, doot. Never gotten negative feedback yet. So, I mean, this is a good presentation. Me as a consumer, I would be happy if I opened a box and I got this. Okay. Step one there. Next, the box. Okay. Um... I happen to own a food truck, so GFS is one of the places. It's a Gordon Food Service. It's a food supply house here in Florida. I think they're all over the country. But I get all, I mean, they have tons of these inside. Um, and they throw them out. Like, if they don't sell if they don't use them, they give them to the customers. And if they don't use them, they just literally roll them out into the dumpster. I don't dumpster dive, fortunately, because I'm a client there, and I just go in there and take whatever I need. But this box weighs, I think, 10 ounces, Okay. The hats weigh nothing. So this is going to probably weigh 11 to 12 ounces when it's all said and done. Um, so, yeah. So I turned it inside out. Um, you don't have to turn it inside out. I mean, you could use the white out and just kind of cover it with tape. I prefer to have the outside be a clean presentation because that's the first thing the person sees. Once you they rip the box open, they could care less what's on the inside, in my opinion, in my experience as well. So you got the box. Put it in there like so. And Dan, just get a little bit of a, I get this uh, newspaper, I forget what it's called. I think it's newspaper filler or something, newsprint filler. I don't know, it was like 10 or 15 bucks on eBay. You can use newspaper obviously as well. In my opinion, this is a much cleaner presentation. So you just want to put a little bit of that in there so that the hat doesn't move around, okay? Kind of like to put the hat in the middle, wrap it with paper, so to speak. Boom, right there. All right. Close that deal up, rock the like so. 
I tend to go into random accents for no reason. I don't know why, but maybe because I'm a multicultural individual. I was born in D.C., but my family is Italian and actually Chilean. It's my my heritage. Go Chile tonight. Ooh, or Chile, Argentina. Let's go. Going for number two. For those of you who don't, don't know, it's Copa America right now. I know some people don't like soccer. For anybody that doesn't like soccer, let me just go ahead and go on a t- little side tangent here. Anyone hating on soccer, I've heard a lot of people hate on like hockey and other sports. Until you go to a sporting event in person, don't hate on it. Just don't hate on it. Go to a game. If you go to a game and you think it's boring, that's a different story. But I've been to a game in Italy and Rome, and it was, I mean, unreal. Like, the stadiums over there hold, like, 100,000 people or more. I mean, it's crazy. And the passion, and it's just, it's beyond a football game here. I mean, it's crazy. So, anyway, Copa America tonight. Chile versus Argentina. Let's go, Chile. Woo! All right, so box done. Look at that. Look how good that looks, okay? This is, the hat is going to be straight. They could put any box on top of this. The hat's going to arrive. The customer's going to be super happy. Let me go ahead and put another piece of tape right here. JIC just in case. And Dan. I'll do it like that just because when he cuts it open, it'll kind of break the seal, so to speak. And that's it. I mean, this weighs already pre weighted. It weighs, uh, I think, 11 or 12 ounces I got on here. Yeah, 12 ounces. And that's it. Another pro tip. Um, if you can't find boxes, I mean, anyone can get boxes. You can go to Walmart, anywhere you, everybody buys groceries, go to your grocery, wherever you buy groceries, go there and get the boxes. You are indirectly paying for the box because you're buying the products there and the cost of the box is built into the cost of that product. So food places are great. Um, another, I was going to make this video with my preferred method, but I didn't have one available, a 12 pack of beer. The box from a 12-pack, if you turn it inside out, it's super light. It's still sturdy enough for a hat. I wouldn't ship, like, an electronic or anything in there, but a hat, if you flip the beer box inside out, it looks awesome. It's super clean. It's really, it's actually, like, a lot lighter than these cardboard boxes. Uh, But, you know, if you're like me and you may have some beer boxes laying around, hey, why not use it? So this is it, 12 ounces. It cost me $3 and I believe 60 cents. Don't quote me on that. Maybe three sixty-five. I don't know, maybe three forty-five, but it's three bucks and change. Not eleven or twelve dollars with a first class with a priority flat rate um, box. Uh, certainly not in an envelope where it's going to get smashed and destroyed. Uh, so I hope you guys liked it. It's super, I think, cost effective and very effective in terms of delivery, customer service, presentation. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. If you don't like it, don't give me a thumbs down. Actually, give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. Comments. Subscription would be cool. I'm trying to put out videos to help anybody. I learned about all this reselling business through the YouTube community, so I just want to give back. I put monthly sales update videos because I feel like those are the most uh, important, most uh, valuable information, so to speak. Haul videos are great. I love watching haul videos. I think everybody kind of does. But you really don't learn anything. You know, Just because somebody got something doesn't mean it's going to sell. It definitely doesn't mean it's going to sell for a profit. Um, you know, so the, the, what actually sells is just like real estate, you know, comps are based on what sells, not what people are asking for. Um, so I, you know, just do the monthly sales updates. I hope those help identify trends and, you know, any kind of sales trends that are occurring. And I just try to give back that way. And some of these how to videos as well, I hope help. Um, I have a video on vinyl records, how to, how I packed and shipped the vinyl records. Um, that uh, seems to be going pretty well as well, and I haven't had any, any issues whatsoever. So, again, please like, subscribe, comment. I would certainly appreciate it. Floridian Picker out.